Are you serious? Are you serious? The winds of war are blowing. And I'm talking Russia and the United States of America. And I never thought I would ever have to say those words, but I'm telling you folks, the military maneuvering that's going on right now is very disturbing. It's not just a war of words, because Obama is not a man that really says a lot, but he puts things into motion. Vladimir Putin doesn't say much either, but when he does, he speaks loudly with a big stick. He just sends troops in. He just moves, takes over airports, air bases, and he is going to take over the Crimea. You can guarantee that. He has that. Question is, will Vladimir Putin go ahead and take the rest of Ukraine? Now, with Obama calling him like a schoolboy, slouching in the back of the class, and making these wisecrack statements, Putin decided not to stoop to that level just to go get done what he wants to get done. And folks, now the United States is maneuvering ships, and so is Russia, and Russia is also moving anti-ship missiles uh, to Crimea. Now, in a report that Larry of West Virginia has sent to me, I'll put the link below, Moscow has responded to the United States, sending guided missile destroyer USS Truxton uh, into the Black Sea by deploying a bastion anti-ship missile system there, according to reports. Uh, uh, the uh, unconfirmed news reports claim that Russian Navy is deploying land-based bastion anti-ship missile systems as a response to the United States of America's move entering two naval vessels into the Black Sea. So President Obama moves a couple naval ships into the Black Sea for a military present. Immediately, Putin goes and puts up his anti-ship missile system in case the Americans try to fire Tomahawk missiles off these ships. Putin will shoot those missiles down. Now, there's a reason... Putin would do that. Let me tell you why. If he wasn't really planning on doing a full invasion of Ukraine, he wouldn't take the time and money to set up these systems. But he's setting them up, which means he's got another offensive move coming. And he seems to be two to three steps ahead of the United States military plan and military response. And so this, but there is certainly too much, uh, it's, it's too quiet. It's too quiet between Washington and Moscow. I know that Obama's been on the phone talking to Vladimir Putin. And some people feel that they're actually just working a plan together to ultimately uh, take over several countries in Europe, much like Obama worked with the, with the radical jihadists of the Muslim Brotherhood and now even maybe uh, other groups to help take over some of the Middle Eastern countries. And that theory can't be ruled out, to be quite honest with you. When you look at the New World Order, you can definitely see where the United States and Russia may end up coming together at the end of the day. Not because I think uh, they are pre-planning it, but because one will realize they need to submit to the other. And folks, that may just be Russia overtaking America. I don't know, and I pray not. But I do know what the Bible tells us. There will be an Antichrist and a false prophet. They will rise in the last day. There will be a beast rise. It will be a global uh, government with a one world currency and a one world religion. And of course, the mark of the beast will be the system that manages the currency and the eco economic, political, and military consolidation of a one world government is truly part of biblical prophecy. Now, if you look at this situation, the system is designed, I'm talking about the, uh, the image uh, of the system, the system is designed for destruction of various surface ships from an enemy's landing squadrons, convoys, and carrier strike groups, as well as single vessels and land-based radio contrast targets in conditions of extensive fire and electronic countermeasures. The system uses a P-800 uh, 
Yakant or SSN-26 anti-ship missile cruise missile and has a maximum range of 300 kilometers. So it can shoot down incoming Tomahawk missiles that would be launched by the United States aircraft carriers if they were to do it. Now on Thursday, this past Thursday, which was March the 6th, 2014, the United States Navy announced that the USS Truxton was headed for the Black Sea in order to conduct military exercises uh, with, with Bulgaria and Romanian naval forces. We know that's not true. We know what it is as a military presence in the Black Sea to try to stare down Putin. Putin's not, not concerned. He had already was planning to set up his anti-warship um, uh, 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 missile defense systems. And so, with these, both sides are jockeying for position. You will see America counter this move. You will see Russia counter that move. And you'll see the EU try to do some things. I look for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy to get involved. I look for the Canadians to get involved. Since Stephen Harper's already threw all the Russian soldiers out of Canada, he gave them 24 hours. Get out now. I mean... There, and look for some other nations, and maybe even China. And who knows? The Iranians are still sending ships around South Africa, headed this way toward the Atlantic Ocean and, and uh, some of the waters not far from the coast of America. Russia's already got a warship setting in Havana off the coast of Cuba. I mean, there's a lot of maneuvering. The winds of war are blowing. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I do understand that the Bible told us that we're going to see wars and rumors of wars and nation rising. This is not a Cold War no more. I want to just make an announcement. This is not a return to the Cold War. This isn't. This is not a return to the Cold War. This is a warlike maneuvers that are taking place. And uh, I'm very concerned because we've scaled back our military. We've fired off our top generals. And we've let some of our best and brightest military uh, soldiers and, and veterans of war, we've, we've let them go. I mean, we've weakened ourselves down. Not at a good time to be doing that. And we're still in the process of doing it. We're still in the process. Washington's clueless. And the administration is conducting operations that are counterproductive uh, to the defense of the United States. And so you have to be very concerned. I mean, look, look at this. Did you know that Ukraine signed an agreement? with the European Union, the Russians, the Americans, that they would do away with all of their nuclear weapons as long as they were promised by those groups that they would always be protective with their sovereignty. So they gave up their nuke programs. And then Russia invades them, and nobody comes to help them. So everybody's breaking their agreement with the Ukraine. you got to understand how the Ukraine... People. I'm not talking about the people in Crimea. They're going to go with Russia. They're Russian-speaking primarily. They don't mind. They'd rather probably go with the Kremlin. But the rest of the country of Ukraine, very vulnerable right now. They have a brand new government. They just got rid of a corrupt leader who was a puppet to Putin. Uh, and that's a, um, Yukovych. And they're just, it's very, very, very dangerous right now, folks. The winds of war are blowing. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ because anything could happen? And I'm still not sure what happened to that plane out of Malaysia. I still, I still don't rule out a hijacking and that that plane is setting somewhere. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's getting really, really weird. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Very intense time in Bible prophecy.